once before I was on this channel and he swore to me that he would never do durian again. And so I thought I was safe. Things change, Leah. What's going on, guys? My name is Bertimus, and today we're joined with Leah hey. and Lolly. And today we're doing another episode of Foods from Around the World. United Noodle Edition, part two. Where we're gonna revisit a few things from past videos because I found that I can actually get them there. Neither of these people have experienced some of these things, and so I think it's going to be great to have them as part of the, the journey as well. And a couple things are gonna be really disgusting, and I'm not looking forward to it even though I bought it. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> so first item are crab chips, or Jetsons de Crave. Oh, Jetons? Jetons? <laughs> wow. Wait, I guess I just want to watch that cartoony. <laughs> that looks super good. Um, they don't smell very strong. No? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, it just smells like a cracker. Bugles. Mm. Bugles. Ooh, bugles. That's a good call. <laughs> it's kind of cute. <laughs> it's like a little toenail. Oh, really? Or, or a thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, girl, you know, I just want those curls, like those, I want those ridges on there. If you get it that baked look, that's going to be real good. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> More flavor than smell. It really hits you in the back of the mouth where it's like, okay. There's a lot there. Yeah, that's definitely um, far more crabby flavor than I thought it was going to be. It's also kind of cheesy, though. Cheesy? Yeah, I got like a... Like a Cheez-Its kind of thing from it. I kind of got the buttered crab, like Red Lobster, like the aftertaste, yeah. you know. Yeah. I'm still on the bugles. So the flavor all until you like inhale was like okay. bugles. It's like not bad. And then you, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I personally kind of enjoy the taste of crabs, so I think I would give these a thumbs up. I'm gonna do thumbs up too. Nice, light, fluffy, good amount of salt. I, I enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. I'm halfway. Thumbs up if you don't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go with thumbs up. <laughs> it's probably just, not the worst thing we'll just, eat today. <laughs> just don't breathe oxygen while you're eating these. It'll be fine. <laughs> Next up, we have smoked salted dried plums. It's showing you what you're getting instead of telling you. <laughs> well, just looking at it, you don't know what that is. I, mean, I don't. Shriveled balls. Yeah, just shriveled, I'm just dusty happy balls. That they're made out of fruit and not something else. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not so bad. It tastes like fruit. Yeah, fruit. Very strong salted <laughs> fruit. I'm going to just tell myself that smells like fruit. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look too scary. It's just like a big golden How raisin. How hard is this? Ooh, it is really hard. <laughs> Ready? We get to use teeth on this? Yeah, I, mean, I was like, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Salty. Hard. So hard. There's a pit. There's a pit. Oh, it's hard to chew. There's a pit. It's not something I would really want Ooh. to eat. But it wasn't terrible, it's just like a salty piece of fruit. It was a very long process to eat that, and then you still have to spit out a pit. Too it's much. tough to get through and you still have to spit at the end. <laughs> you could throw that in like a dirty martini. Okay. And maybe okay. I would, yeah. Okay. I can see that, and then as it's sitting in the alcohol, it kind of loosens up a little bit. And yeah, I'll give it a thumbs up. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. I'm gonna give it a thumbs... <sighs> No halvesies. Ah, uh, no halvesies. I, it's not bad, I just wouldn't eat it. So, I mean, as far as it, it delivered on what it said it was, and it wasn't terrible, so I guess it's a thumbs up. I'll do thumbs up. Let's see this in a cocktail, though. Yeah, let's make that happen. One of you, make a recipe, submit it down below. Let me know. Next up, we have baked shrimp chips wasabi flavor. Man, that really crawls up your nose. And a little shrimp. It's not so bad outside of the bag. Mm. Yeah. The whole thing? Oh yeah. In one. 
We don't we don't go half ass on this channel. <laughs> oh, the wasabi and the shrimp just like hit like powerful. That was way more wasabi than I thought it was gonna be. Wow, that is a strong flavor. They definitely pack a lot of punch, but Wasabi and I, you know, we keep trying this thing. It's this back and forth relationship and we don't really get along too well. So I'm gonna have to go thumbs down. I'm gonna go thumbs up. I did eat two and I would probably eat another, so. Thumbs down. I powered through, but I didn't really enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> so next up we have Anka flavor tofu cake. So essentially what this is, is it's tofu jerky flavored like mushrooms. Why is it called cake? I think cake and I think I'm gonna have a good time, but this doesn't look like a good time. Actually, that smells really good. No, it does, it, it smells like that pork thing I'm thinking of. Yeah, is it, is Ooh, it just, is, okay. does it feel moist? It's a little flimsy. Yeah. It's moist, it's moist. It's squishy. It's sticky. It's moist. We might need um, a wet paper towel afterwards. <laughs> Sweet. Not chewy. Mm -hmm. I could totally put this in like my ramen noodles or something. The fact that it was marketed as like a jerky substitute, I don't know if I could necessarily Is that honey get something? down with that. Um, sugar. Uh, yeah, I would. I'd give that a thumbs up. Dang! Across the board. <laughs> mm, love it. Next, we've got big roll, which we've done before. Uh, it's a grilled seaweed roll, but this one is the tasty and easy spicy grilled squid flavor. This almost looks like when you just put it out like this, like it's some sort of juice packet. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's spicy. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. uh, mm. Leah's loving it. It was actually really good. <laughs> I like it. I will say that it was tasty and really flavorful. I like spicy stuff. That thing is way spicier than I thought it was gonna be. I, I also, I just wanna say that I really like this packaging with the little guy who's rolled up in there like a sleeping bag. He's it's really so cute. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, big roll, grilled seaweed. I'm gonna go thumbs up. Thumbs up, I enjoyed that. Long clippings with a lot of spice. Lawn clippings with a lot of spice. There you go, folks. If you enjoy lawn clippings with a little bit of spice in your life, make sure to hit up Big Roll. <laughs> so next up, we're going to be trying some vegan Korean sesame chicken. I'm pretty sure it just means that it's like to flavored tofu or wheat. It doesn't smell bad, and we got Birdemis to cook for us. Leah likes to be fed. I love to be fed. <laughs> I mean, so what we actually did was because it came in a frozen package, just like put it on some rice and just kind of... <laughs> <laughs> well, anybody who knows me can tell you that I love to eat, I love to be fed, and I love to put meat in my mouth. So I guess this is close enough. Phrasing? Is phrasing still a thing we're doing? I don't know. It still kind of has a spongy texture to it. Mm -hmm. It's like the jerky. Mm -hmm. You could buy it, but you could supplement it with some extra sauce or... Yeah, I, I would definitely like want to punch it up. You could you could make it for me and not tell me it's vegan and I'll just think you're a bad cook. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> I'd eat it out of politeness. I would never come over again. Thumbs up, just because it's something I would still eat, but I would have to like... I know it's not chicken. Thumbs down for me. It's uh, not something... It's not something that I would want to eat, and I'm not a vegan, so I don't have to. I'll give a thumbs up. Just don't tell me what it is. So next up, we have Mitarashi Dango. Oh, must... are you supposed to let it warm up, or is it supposed yeah. to take on the shape of the container? Like, what? if these were sweet, if they smelled like a cake or a treat, I, I think... kind of do. They smell like soy sauce yeah. and saltiness. These are some salty smelling balls. There it is. A Just whole ball? Do we have to take a whole ball? A whole ball. A whole ball. Yep. Oh my ah. god. Oh. <laughs> the flavor isn't too bad. It's nothing I'm particularly fond of. It's I don't know. I like that a lot, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Tables have turned. I'm 
not sure how to. Oh my god, it's stretching! <laughs> Look, I like it's a good dessert. I'm gonna go thumbs up on this. I I'm like it. Go thumbs down. If it was presented differently, I might change my mind, but the way it is right now, I, I wouldn't do that again. Yeah, as is, maybe warm it up a bit. Then we'll try again. I'd try it again. Wow. Prepared differently. Cold hearted. Once before, I was on this channel and he swore to me that he would never do durian again. And so I thought I was safe. Things change, Leah. New people show up. <laughs> and everyone, I feel, needs to have at least one experience with this particular item at some point in their lives. Durian. Today we have durian mochi. There it is. Oh, yeah. <coughs> yep. You know, the, the mochi actually does okay, a better job of sealing it in than yeah. uh, the wafers did. So it's yeah, not this quite... Isn't nearly as pungent as those wafers Oh, but were. it's now it's just everywhere. <sighs> oh, it's warming up. It's starting to smell. Okay, let's just do this then. <laughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> the mochi, like, you get a little, like, relief with the mochi and then it's just very in your throat. That was so much easier than the oh. wafer. Do these instead of the wafer if you're gonna try durian. It's still not pleasant, but. D yeah, this is definitely entry level durian. It's still not good. But it's entry level. Like, this is the mildest. Was that that bad to you? Want another bite? No, I'm not. <laughs> you want more? Hell no! <laughs> Does it not phase you? I Maybe I'm stuffed up. I'm just shocked. I'm shocked that there is somebody sitting next to me that seems to not hate durian. This is like three goes at it. I think it's just the cold squishiness is what's unpleasant. The taste is ugh. Wow. The taste is ugh. I'm over here <laughs> gagging and she's I, I teared up. I legit teared up during that. I hate you, Darian. I hate you so much. I'm, it's not a flavor I enjoy. Or, yeah, want to go three bites at to try and determine the exact nature of. <laughs> I applaud your curiosity, though. Yes. And your willingness to explore for science. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm disappointed. Okay, you started with the thumbs up. I was like, I, no way. I'm giving it a thumbs down because I'm disappointed. You talked durian up way, way too much. And I'm left like. We have found somebody impervious to durian. Good, Good on you. Good on you. Okay. I knew they existed, but they're so rare. Can we feed her a duck cake? No. Ooh, a durian cocktail. I think no, we should come no, up with a durian no! cocktail. I think we should come up with a durian cocktail and then we should invite Brodimus over and we'll just like, boom, third cocktail in when he's least expecting it, there's gonna be a wad of durian just down in his throat. No. 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 Hell no. The last time, the durian, you could still smell it. Like we stuck it in two garbage bags and took the garbage out, you could still smell it. It was super bad. It was so bad. I can't believe she went in three times. <laughs> what is that? Just... You didn't get me. You didn't, you didn't get me. Try harder. 